without further ado, what's up, guy? How's it going? Doing fantastic. Thank you for having me. Hi, absolutely, it's our pleasure. Finally, <laughs> on the show. Um, so I'm just gonna, you know, go uh, ahead and, and ask you questions. I know that uh, eToro is the company and trading platform that has been in business for a while now, but it was only introduced to the U.S. quite recently, right? Because it wasn't available in the U.S., right? Correct. So eToro started globally in 2007. Uh, we're a global broker dealer. Uh, the U.S. office actually started in, I opened the U.S. office in June of 2018, and we've launched the product publicly in the U.S. in March of 2019 with our crypto offering. Outside of the U.S., we're a multi-asset uh, broker dealer. In the U.S., we have our crypto offering, but later this year, we would add uh, stock trading as well to our, uh, our offering in the U.S. Uh, st- you know, talking about stocks, uh, are you going to add... Uh- particular stocks or everything that is available in NASDAQ and NYC or what kind of stocks are you looking for? The vast majority of, of you know, uh, large caps that are available on, on uh, these two exchanges um, uh, would be would be made available. Uh, how is it different uh, or how complex, I think maybe even more, uh, to, to bring the company that was originally uh, based in Israel, right, uh, to bring it to the U.S.? Is, are there any legal limitations? How is that different? So the company is still based out of Israel. Uh, this is where headquarters is located at. Um, but to your, to your question, it, it is a myriad of uh, regulatory uh, maze in the U.S., uh, to bring the entirety of the eToro offering uh, here. It is, uh, as you know, quite complex. We have state regulators, we have federal regulators, um, uh, banks uh, are somewhat you know, acting different here than the rest of the world. And so we have, uh, we have had to deal with all of these, but in every territory where we are um, uh, providing services, we are being responsible, we are in full compliance, full compliance with all the rules and regulations uh, in each territory where we uh, where we have our services available. In the U.S., we we did that too. The problem is that in the U.S., it's it, it is indeed quite complex and a lot more expensive uh, to do business here. Uh, but we're happy to to work with regulators. We're happy to work with um, various stakeholders here to make sure that we bring our offering in a compliant way to the U.S. market. Um, okay, I understand that, and I, I've heard that it's it's a little bit tricky to to operate business, uh, financial business, especially in the U.S. compared to Israel. I think Israel welcomes an invest, like investment and and, and startups. Um, but um, so right now, eToro in the U.S. Right? Uh, first of all, I've heard last week that you're moving the headquarters in Miami. Is is that correct? So we we announced that we're going to open another office in oh, another. Okay. Uh, so our, our current U.S. offices are located in Hoboken, New Jersey. We and we announced uh, during the crypto conference in Miami that we open that we're going to open a Miami a Miami office. Uh, this is on the heels of everything that uh, has happened. I would say, in a macro sense, in the U.S., we've seen a lot of talent uh, flocking into South Florida from other tech hubs, um, uh, both kind of in the U.S. but also globally. Uh, you've I'm sure you've noticed that a lot of companies in the crypto space, but also in traditional financial services, announced either um, they're, they are uh, opening uh, offices in Miami or or outright putting their headquarters in that area. And so there would be a ton of talent there. We want to make sure that this talent has eToro as an option. Wow, that's that's a great look. That's a great way of looking at it. So um, you've mentioned that you have just a range, a series of digital assets available to the U.S. users right now, right? Can you talk a little bit about that? What's what is specifically available? What can our viewers, you know, go in and and trade right now? So we have um, obviously the 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 the, the, the large caps uh, uh, cryptos available: Bitcoin, ETH, uh, Ethereum Classic, uh, Litecoin. All of these, all of these are available, um, and you can you can join Etoro and, and, and trade them. We uh, just at the at a very opportune time, we added uh, Doge to our offering at the beginning of May. So we were um, benefiting the the whole kind of perfect storm that happened there, with regards to people wanting to uh, to add that to their uh, to their uh, portfolios, and we have um, a very um, I would say a very exciting. Uh, a roadmap this year to continue to add coins to our 
uh, to our US platform and, and globally. Um, and you can just go check check it out and, and see what you know what coins we have available and, and, and start trading. Um, so I, I do have a couple of follow-ups on that one. So uh, you've you've mentioned that uh, apparently Deutsch, which we're not surprised about, uh, is getting a lot of interest f f from your users, right? Yes, yeah, definitely. Do you, have, do you have numbers like how how many users or in percent in percentage are are trading that cryptocurrency right now? So I can say that um, in the first, so when we first listed it at the beginning of May. It was for a few days the top traded asset on the U.S. platform. Uh, I mean, by a mile. So uh, that that was pretty pretty evident that people were hungry for uh, uh, to to have exposure to to Doge at that time. Ever since then, uh, it it even and and uh, right now it's uh, I believe it's not even in the top five in, in terms of the most traded uh, uh, traded assets on Etoro. Um, so you know things are kind of quote unquote uh, have have normalized in mm -hmm. a way, um, but that's you know that's what I can share in terms of uh, in terms of numbers. Yeah, uh, I understand that. And if, another follow up on that one. So what are the top five most traded uh, most most traded cryptocurrencies right now on eToro? Uh, so so Bitcoin uh, uh, recently has been the, the the top one or got got the um, got back to the top of the list. Um, and uh, the others, I mean, in, in, in the top that we have are, are ETH and Cardano, um, you know, things of that nature. I can't really get into kind of the full list, but you would expect uh, these things to be at the top um, uh, most of the time. Um, and then uh, what kind of uh, cryptocurrencies are you looking to add in the near future? Uh, so we, are, we have a, a process at Etoro where we are doing two things in order to add uh, to, to determine which coins we're going to add. First, we look at liquidity and market cap. Once we add in coins to eToro, we, we know it's going to be a demand like right away. Um, we have 20 million registered users uh, worldwide. So um, there's definitely going to be a, a demand. And so we're looking to make sure that there is enough liquidity uh, to to provide uh, uh, to, to our users once, once we're going to list uh, the coin. The other is obviously specifically to the U.S., but also in the rest of the world, is to make sure that it goes through a legal review and a compliance review, mm -hmm. primarily to make sure that we are uh, not listing anything that might be deemed a security. Um, and so once we check both these boxes and we get all the risk committees and, and um, um, kind of uh, getting our internal approvals as well, as well, just with kind of third party stakeholders, we're going to go ahead and list the coins. I obviously can't get into the names of what we're going to list um uh, we are after all a regulated company are they doc related asking us <laughs> um, but um but yeah i mean we you, you probably won't find us uh listing things that are just starting or very very early stage right uh you would find us listing things that are more mature uh substantial market cap um, uh, th those would be likely to be added to the eToro platform. So no safety, you guys. <laughs> okay, and the last question, I'm going to put you on the spot there. Um, so in the U.S., there are different exchanges and platforms that are, um, some are outside, apparently, so that are available to the U.S. customers, right? There's Robinhood, Coinbase, Binance, U.S., uh, OKEx. Uh, why should traders use eToro? Fantastic question. So... <laughs> The difference is, is that when you join Toro, you also join a, a social network. So on top of the brokerage functionality of executing a trade, we've built a, a social network that allows you to see how well other users are doing with their own real money. Oh. So you can see their portfolios, you can see their track record, you can see um, um, their thoughts. We also build this kind of Facebook style feed at the heart of the application where people comment about why they bought Bitcoin or sold Dodge or whatever the case may be. And you can like, share, comment, do all the things that you would expect from a social feed. So this this creates, I mean, usually when you trade, it's kind of, kind of a solemn experience. It's just you versus the screen. Um, at Etoro, it's, it's, it's a social experience. So you're, you're not alone. Yeah. Um, and then also a few years ago, we introduced something called Copy Trader. 
So this allows you to actually copy one another. So if you see a user that's doing really well trading crypto, you can actually copy them. So when you do that, all the portfolio holdings will be open in yours on a proportional basis. And from that point onward, every time they trade, you will trade at the same time, same price, just proportional to how much money you've decided to allocate. Um, oh, wow. this is just the last question for for the sake of security. When you say it's uh, available and the trades and portfolios are, are available, so they are available uh, using the real names of the users or it's anonymous? As it, anonymous. It, it, so these are, um, so you can use kind of pseudonames mm -hmm. for, um, for, um, uh, for your user, but it, but for when, when you when you copy another person, we we have uh, you know guardrails in places to make sure you actually you, you can see their real names, um, and um, uh, so, so we have additional qualifications before you can copy someone. For example, we don't allow you to copy someone who's uh, uh, to our likings uh, is a high risk trader. So maybe they trade too frequently, or this is that the risk score is is too high. We won't allow you to copy them. So when, when you copy someone, it means that we can, uh, we, Itoro, uh, have done some additional checks and balances just to make sure that this is, uh, that we know who the person is and that they're not, they're not uh, of a high risk. Okay, guys, thank you so much. I'm, I'm looking forward to having you again on the show to talk about Itoro's history and everything else. But thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. Thank you. Yep. Appreciate it, guys. Have a good one.